Grammarly. We call this error-free writing using Grammarly. Well, is it possible to have error-free writing? As we go on, we'll be able to see, but first and foremost, let us start with the vital question. What is Grammarly? Grammarly is a proof reading tool. Basically, that is what it does. But essentially, we want to appreciate that it does much more than that. It helps us to check for several types of errors, especially errors that has to do with grammar and writing, basic uh, errors that researchers most often overlook. Grammarly can help us to detect punctuation mistakes. Grammarly can help us to detect error mistakes. Grammarly can help us to identify confused preposition. Sometimes we don't know whether we should use on or we should use in, whether we should use over or we should use above, things of that nature. Grammarly can help us to correct that. Grammarly can also help us to detect usage of passive voice and sometimes even wordy sentences. What else can Grammarly do? Grammarly can provide real-time suggestions and guidelines on how to correct mistakes. Those mistakes that it has identified, it will even provide suggestions on how these mistakes can be corrected. Grammarly can also detect plagiarism, especially if we are using the premium version. It will help you to compare your writing to billions of other web pages that are available and help you to see whether, <laughs> to what extent are you copying someone else without acknowledgement. It can also help the writers, researchers to self-edit work by providing real-time insights about readability score. We're going to see this later about sentence length and things of that nature. And by this, Grammarly will provide guide for your own specific type of writing. What are you writing for? It will help you to adapt your writing to your style. Are you making it formal writing, informal writing, academic writing, business writing? Grammarly can help you with respect to that. And interestingly, Grammarly can also offer settings that are specific to whatever type of English. Is it Canadian English? American English, British English. That you can easily do at the setting. Grammarly can just help you to see that you are consistent with respect to the use of a particular variant of English. How then can we use Grammarly? We want to say that there are <clears throat> a wide array of ways by which one can make use of Grammarly. Let's just pay attention to some. You can use Grammarly as a, as a kind of add-in in your Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office. Grammarly can be used as add-on to our Chrome or not just Chrome, web browsers generally. Grammarly can also be used as desktop, desktop app or for Mac, can also be used as a kind of app for Windows. We are going to take a look in our hands-on section on three of these possibilities in the usage of Grammarly. The first is using Grammarly Editor directly by typing, pasting, or uploading in the Grammarly tool. The second possibility is checking our write-up directly in Microsoft or Office by the Grammarly for Microsoft, of Microsoft Office on Windows, which is a plugin that can be downloaded. The third option we're going to take a look at is installing the Grammarly free browser extension that will help us to write correctly on nearly every site. We're going to see those exceptions which Grammarly is not available for now. As we mentioned earlier, Grammarly is not just a tool for editing. It also helps in plagiarism. As a plagiarism detector, when you have the premium version of Grammarly, you are going to 
be able to compare your writing to what is already available. And this is very useful, especially when you are peer reviewing other people's work to want to know whether it has been plagiarized or not. Even your own work, you want to check that you had not unintentionally failed to acknowledge the source you have used because Grammarly will tell you where exactly on the website are the materials that are similar to what you have used. And you can then compare, oh, I've unnecessarily copied from this source without acknowledgement. Let me acknowledge. Or I am sticking too close to the source that I am citing, and so I need to make adjustments. The next question many will want to ask is, how much does Grammarly cost? We want to know that Grammarly, yes, cost something but the cost is far far lower compared to the value researcher will get the first thing we want to take note of is that as at this morning the various plans and pricing that are available in uh grammarly are one free version which is free to use without cost we are going to use our demo on the free version to see what grammarly can offer and then we may decide to opt for the paid version. Now, Grammarly will pay me for the advert. The first is Grammarly, the, the Grammarly Premium, rather. The first plan is monthly subscription, which, as of this morning, is about $29 or $30, roughly 11500 naira per month. The second option in the uh, premium version is quarterly payment which cost 19 or 20,000 sorry 20 pounds or dollars please pardon me per month which eventually amounts to roughly 60 dollars for three months talking about roughly 23,000 and the third one is the annual subscription the annual subscription Sorry, my screen, I don't know what happened. It's not showing fully. But the annual subscription is um, the range of, let me see. Yeah, the range of 11, roughly $12 per month, which is about $139 or $140 annually, which amounts to about 53,000 Naira in a year. So what this implies is that you can opt for whichever version that you want. But as we said, we are going to demo, demonstrate on the, 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 the free version. But let's compare the free version and the premium version. In the free version, it can help you to do spell check. It can help you to do grammar check, punctuation, conciseness. I can assure you with these three or four features, you'll be surprised how well improved your writing will be. With the premium version, you can do everything that is in the free version, this four. You can check for fluency, you can check for readability, you can check for word choice, plagiarism detection, inclusive language, formality level. As we said, these are just additions to what you have in the free version. The question that many people often ask is, can Grammarly replace human proofreader? Well, this is an area that those of us in uh, language might be interested in. I would say the answer depends on the type of work one is doing, but basically the truth is Grammarly cannot provide the context or feedback that a human proofreader can offer. But we can use Grammarly dashboard to send our documents to human proofreaders. We will demonstrate that later. And we, when we're doing our demo version, we also see one or two mistakes in which Grammarly might not be able to detect, only perhaps a human proofreader will be able to detect, to, to detect that. Let's start from the basic. How do we use Grammarly? So there are up, up various options. We're going to start with the first option that is using Grammarly as a primary writing app. 
by writing directly in the two. What do you need to do? We just go directly, copy the address, grammarly.com. And once that is done, what happens is you may see something like this. And sorry, my browser is coming up. Just a minute, trying to share. All right. When you type on your browser, you might see something like this. Let me hope it comes up. Good. Right. You may see something like this. Grammarly free online writing assistance. If you are new, you might just click on sign up. If you have already got an account, you might just click on log in. I have already got an account. So by clicking, I'm going to see something like this. My account opens up and this is my account, my Grammarly account and the rest. What you want to do now is whether you've got an account or not, it's not a problem. Once you click on the uh, website or the address of the Grammarly, you log in or sign up. Once you sign up, you have an account. You just ask basic information that has to do with your email. Now, this is my own account. What do I need to do? What's I have this template new. Once I click on it, I'm going to be given a kind of three basic options that I can use. I hope you've seen it. I did type two, type or paste, control V, your text here, yeah, or upload a document. So I can use this app directly by typing and see how my mistakes are detected. We're going to take a look at that generally later, irrespective of whichever option we use. All we want to know is that it, it will detect our mistakes. Alternatively, which is the second option that we were told we could have, is to check our write-up directly in Microsoft, Microsoft Office by using Grammarly for Microsoft Office on Windows. That is also not difficult. What do we need to do? When we look at 